Good morning, everyone. So I'm here cutting the eggnog soap that I made last night because I know it has a high content of shea butter and um, it'll probably get harder really quickly. So I wanted to cut it before I started work today. So I'm hoping I get it all done before my babies get here. And I decided to call this this soap Coquito. <laughs> Sorry for that pause, I had to go get, well, I didn't have, but I wanted to go get, just helps me cut straight. I really don't like it, to be honest. Um, hopefully this swirl came out really nice and eh, not too bad at least you can see this swirl better than the last one The colors actually came out pretty cool. I don't mind it at all. I don't know how this soap is going to actually feel. I'll have to do a test run of it with me and my family. And if anyone wants to, of course, purchase, always willing to sell you for. But these won't be fully cured until January. I'm actually. Wait, uh oh, happy with that swirl. Yay, I think I got it right. Well, I think really with the last one, I am the colors were too close to each other, so you couldn't see it. So with this one, you know, there's a bigger color differentiation. So. you guys are seeing that because from this angle it looks like nothing but a bunch of light I really can't tell what you guys can see until I actually upload it and then you can kind of see what everyone else sees I'm using my laptop to do this video because I don't have a camera So, laptop it is. Pretty nice. I'm liking, I'm liking. Wait, show you this side. So, I belong to a group on Facebook, a soap making group. When I post this, I hope to get some comments and feedback from you guys. Hopefully you will actually watch it. I don't know how many of you like to watch YouTube videos, but I think mostly soap makers like to watch other soap makers make soap 
because we're crazy like that. Yeah, we're a little bit. of our own kind a special breed of people called soapers okay down to my last slice no children yet yay parents are letting me cut my soap early in the morning if they only knew what I think about when I watch two children I have all the kids watching Soaping 101. And the littlest one says, Thanks for watching. See you all next time. I think I watch a little bit too much because she says it on cue. It's sad. Hmm. I have to cut right in the middle of that peak. I don't think I'm going to like how that looks on that bar. That peak right in the middle of the cut. A little left over, which is good because I like to try to have some samples that I can send out or give to people. I had a guy order some samples online last night. So. Your samples are coming as soon as I see the payment go through for the shipping. I give away free samples, but I don't want to take on the cost of the shipping, so I don't know if I should charge for samples or not. My samples are not always really pretty because it's just the edges and leftovers. So, um, and I'm going to cut this up. I think I'll cut this up into three little, or maybe four little bars. samples or I'll get to use it myself with the chillings put in the bathroom for hand soap and I'm watching my soaping videos they're like soaping again <sighs> especially the older ones the younger ones don't know what's going on I only watch them in the afternoon when it's almost time for them to go. You're watching soaping? Yes. Is that soap? Yes. Can I eat it? No. Okay, I'm rambling. Sorry. Okay, so this is my, I decided to name it Coquito. Ooh. Coquito soap. And all sliced up. I hope you like. I do. I'm actually really, really proud. Yay. This rolling came out nice. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.